Being saved is a lifelong process rather than something that happens the day a person is baptized. What is the purpose of baptism in the Orthodox Church? Is it more than symbolism? It is definitely more than symbolism. Um, it is, baptism is the time when we are joined to Christ. We are completely joined to Christ. We die with Him in the water and we rise again with Him as if uh, as He came also from the tomb. We become a new creation. We become a new man. We leave the old man behind. Um, baptism is a regeneration of humanity in the risen Christ. Baptism is our entrance into the kingdom of God even in the here and now and our, and, and our empowerment to be children of God um, in a full way. Uh, and, uh, and of course, in the Orthodox Church from the very beginning, the church in the early centuries, uh, chrismation was done uh, with baptism, after baptism, after the immersion in the water. And, um, and chrismation is the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we gave, uh, you know, we give through the baptism and chrismation the fullness of grace. And then we also give Holy Communion immediately after uh, to those being baptized, whether they're children or they're adults. And uh, we give them the fullness of the grace that God gives us uh, with the prayer, of course, that they will remain in that grace and continue to um, live the life of Christ as they should, starting from now and heading for the kingdom of God. Now, salvation comes, of course, as a gift through this process, but that salvation has to be safeguarded by us by living a life according to the will of God. So if our life does not reflect the will of God, then there is no salvation even after we're baptized. You cannot get baptized and then go live like uh, the heathen and, uh, and do whatever you want. Uh, if your, your baptism is the beginning of your salvation and uh, you basically have a responsibility to remain in the grace of God uh, by your life. Your life has to be an obedience to God, it has to be an obedience to the commandments of God, and it has to be a relationship with God and a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ continually until the, our last breath. And, and the goal of, of, of the Christian life is not just to gain salvation. What is salvation, for, for example? And I will talk about that in a moment. The goal is to go beyond, uh, beyond just restoring the image of God in us, but to go to what God wanted us to do from the beginning, which was to reach the state of uh, uh, perfection. Uh, because God created us in His image, and He wanted us to be perfected in His likeness. And so, uh, with His help and with he, the cooperation with Him, uh, by obeying His commandments and by uh, having a relationship with Him, we ensure our, um, or we struggle, or we, we, we try to reach that state of uh, uh, perfection, which we also call theosis, which means deification. So, let me, let me back up a little bit now and say, what is salvation? For Unfortunately, for, for the Western, uh, Western Christians, uh, salvation became a juridical kind of term in the sense of uh, an issue of uh, uh, we committed crimes and we'd be punished for those. And then Jesus removes the, the, the responsibility and therefore we are saved. Well, that's true, but that's not the whole story. Salvation, actually, if you go back to the Greek terms, uh, is... Um, uh, the, the verb is sozo, okay, so, uh, uh, and, and, and Christ becomes sodir, and salvation is sodiria. So the verb sozo means to restore to good health, to um, heal. And uh, Christ is sodir, his savior, because he took upon himself humanity which was broken, it was, uh, it was sinful, it was uh, living in, in, in a condition of fallenness, and in himself he restored the humanity and made it perfect, and now by joining him, we are restored as well. So he allowed humanity in him 
Well, he preserved it sin sinless, but he still allowed it to die on the cross. And then through the resurrection, he uh, made humanity in himself perfected, like God wanted it from the very beginning. And he made humanity in himself uh, eternal. And he defeated death and removed death from that saved humanity. And now we need to join to Christ, both physically through the body and blood of Christ in Holy Communion, as well as spiritually through prayer, so that we can also be saved, which means to be healed and be restored uh, to the perfection that God wants us. That's salvation. It's not a juridical term. It's not uh, just a uh, uh, forgiveness of, of uh, our sins, and, and it's not just a, a, uh, you know, a transaction that we do for one time and then we end with it. It's, it's a state of existence which you either you have it or you don't have it and you need to have it to be in the kingdom of God. And it's a, it's a healed condition that does not allow for anything that's not healthy to happen. Anything sinful that takes you away from the healed condition would be destroying your salvation because salvation is healing. And it's a wholesome, uh, healthy condition spiritually to exist in.